Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So after the installation of any product, the next step is to activate the license on that. So if you might have seen my last tutorial, we have installed Kaspersky and Point Security. Uh, if you see over here, but the problem is it is not activated and why it is not activated because we have not run any activation task. So you have multiple ways to do it. You can do it through web console, but uh, sometimes I feel web console is still not hard mature. I felt some um, glitches uh, in this in terms of like activation and sometimes the task will get scheduled and it will not trigger or something. So if you want to do it, just in case, from web console, you can come over here, use Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows, add key and create the key from here, uh, license task from here. Or the old traditional way, you can come to the management console, you can select the workstations and create an activation task directly over here, if you see. I can create a task from here. You can say add a key. Now I have to select my license key for sure. And I can say add this key as reserve key. So what will happen in reserve key is if the, there is no key activated on the target computer, Oh, sorry if there is a key activated on the target computer so what happen is it will add this key as reserve key and as soon as the other key will expire this key will take over but in our case there is no key already available so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this key to be deployed on there and uh, for activation code of course you will have your own this one i'm going to hide so that my license key is not visible. Now I'm going to click on next over here. Here you can choose once manually when the updates are downloaded on uh, completing another task and so on. So for me, I'll say once and then I can uh, give a schedule of current time and I can say run miss task so that when the task is completed, so it should automatically trigger this task and I'll say activation of KES and I would say run the task after the visit finishes and click on finish this is a normal way of activating it and if you come over here you will be able to see how the status currently it shows as scheduled it should run over there and once the execution is completed our license should be activated on the target computer normally it should be very quick it should not take that much long time and by the way based on how many machines are available over here you will be able to get them activated so if you see right now it says license expired as soon as my task is completed it should have my license status updated as well So if you see over here, now the task is completed, completed successfully on one device. If you click on view, it is completed. And if you go back to workstation group, now client status is showing green, which means okay. And if you see the license expired thing has gone from here. On the other hand, if you go to workstation, your exclamation mark warning is also gone and database is getting updated. So this is how you push activation key to the target machines. So now of course, next steps are to update the databases and all, but by default, you know, there are certain tasks which are already there, which will take care of these things. So that's all from the activation side. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies 
which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.